Hello, and welcome to the third episode of Build and Banter. We are three now, which is a trilogy, unless we don't stop, in which case it keeps getting higher. Today, it's going to be me and Ben. Hey guys, Chocolate Frogs here. And we're going to be talking about Solo, the Star Wars story about Han Solo. Or Lando, probably. Or Lando. Honestly, it should be a Lando story, but we'll get back to that. As of right now, the movie is not out. As we are recording this before the movie comes out, we have not seen the movie. We do not know what will happen. If you've already seen the movie, you can make fun of us for our poor theories. And now, because this is build and banter, we have a set that we're going to build, which is the Range Trooper. Oh yeah, he's big. Yeah, he's like he's like a bundled up uh, snow trooper. He just wants to stay warm. All right, should we build this? Yeah. Oh, it's taped. Yeah, I got a knife. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where my knife is. You know what? Rip. Do it. So first off, new parts. We have the the chest piece. Uh, just a standard chest piece with uh, some new details on it. As far as details go, this could be pretty generic. You can use this on another sci-fi guy if you want, and people shouldn't complain. Uh, that's cool. The helmet. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool looking helmet. So, Solo. Yeah. Uh, not what I expected. To be fair, it's probably, I should have expected it, but I didn't think that we would be getting a movie like this. Like, I didn't think we needed one. How do you mean? We, if we were having, like, origins and stuff, like, we kind of knew Solo, Han Solo. We got, we knew we had the game to win it from Lando. We knew mm -hmm. that Chewbacca's just his friend he got. We knew about the Kessel Run. He was a smuggler. I just never really desired a, a more of an origin for him. His kind of mysterious past is what made him an, an appealing character. It looks like they're trying to give us a lot of the backstory to Han Solo that we've been told about but haven't seen. Like, right. you know, the Kessel Run, which it seems like this whole movie is going to be about. Yeah, probably, judging by that Lego set. Yeah. They wouldn't call it the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon if it weren't. Uh, it is interesting, uh, now that we've brought up that set, how the Millennium Falcon is blue and white. Which means that, wow, Han really let that ship go after he took it from Lando. <laughs> yeah, or he just gave it a paint job. I, I think he just let it go. Yeah, he's too cheap to paint it. Yeah. I would like the chess, not the chess, the, um, the poker game, Sabak. Sabak. Uh, I, I would like to see that simply because, you know, we us in our nerd games, uh, Star Star Trek had the um, the, the 3D chess and, right. and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it, this is a classic Star Wars game that it'd be cool to see them uh, actually put on the screen. Yeah, totally. So it's going to be a movie about smugglers and, you know, thieves and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, I think this, this is another chance for, uh, you know, Lucasfilm to bring out some of their... Uh, you know, thieves and stuff from the books and the comics and stuff. Yes. And I'm hoping, and again, this is my ideal, hopeful dream, that they bring in a um, very familiar ruffian from Clone Wars and Rebels. Alright. I want Hondo to be in this movie. And who is Hondo? Hondo is the best. Uh, he was in the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan ran into him, and there's a lot of shenanigans happening. Um, and more recently, he appeared on Rebels as a sometimes ally of the main characters. He's basically a, um adventurous profiteer, shall we say. He's also a delight. He's a massive ham. Every time he shows up, he, was, he just goes, My friends, I have a business job for you. Come, come, let me show you. I just and looked him up. He was in a Lego set. Yeah. I had him. He is a great character who I absolutely love because of the uh, Rebels TV show, and so I hope he's in. I hope he's in Solo. It'd be fun for them to drag this character that's been in Clone Wars and Rebels into the main movie canon. That'd be great. You know, I'm not that caught up on some of the uh, expanded universe stuff as of late. Um, right. So, but it wouldn't be a Star Wars movie without a cameo from R2D2 and Z3PO. That is a fair point. How? Uh, good question. Maybe they'll pass the rebel base and, and they'll be there. Maybe they'll maybe we'll see them wandering around. No, we can't really see them one because they're on the ship. They're on the Tantive 5, Tantive 4. Hmm. I wonder if we'll see Jabba. 
You know, because because Han Han always uh, is owing Jabba money. Maybe we'll see like why he owes him money. That. Hmm. Boba Fett cameo, maybe. I feel like that's too obvious, but I would not be opposed because the old EU had that wonderful rivalry between um between Han and Boba. Yeah. Now I I still don't know how I feel about the dude playing um Han the Al- Alden. Yeah. I I I'm gonna wait till I see it. Here and there I think, oh, maybe he'll work and at the same time I was like, but 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 Harrison Ford. And he's really the only like unknown name that we have. Because uh Donald Glover is playing Lando, which is perfect casting. Yeah, I can't wait. And then Woody Harrelson is playing a grumpy mentor, which is my favorite ca- type of character for Woody Harrelson. <laughs> I am very much forward looking to that. Now, I don't, I am very ambivalent about... Amelia Clark? Yeah, I'm very ambivalent about Amelia Clark. So, we'll wait to see what happens. But I also feel like there's an opportunity here to cast someone as Sana, who in the comics is Han's uh, ex-wife for a con and... I, w- I would not mind if they if they did that fake wife con instead of whatever they're doing for this. That would that would just be great. So where are you at? I have the uh, the limbs attached, and I'm, um, I'm starting to work on the other armor. My dude's got a body. Good. That's important. I'm working on the hips. They're very truthful hips. <laughs> hey, be careful with the um the skirt here. I put mine on backwards. And by that, I mean there's a fluffy side and a not fluffy side. Right. And you want the fluffy side on the outside. Yeah, mine's on the outside. Wait, for the skirt? Yeah. Huh. Well, I'm guessing. It just makes sense to have the fluffiness on the outside. It does, but it looks very smooth in the book compared to the uh, t- the cape, the shawl. Yeah, I'm just going with Beth Judgment. I'm ignoring the book for that uh, because it's kind of hard to have that texture in the picture. Okay. Well, my guys got a very fluffy skirt. If we're building this guy wrong, y'all can all judge us in the comments below. Hi, comments. <laughs> so, Frogs, I have a question for you. Yes. What's a range trooper? I suppose by range, it means that they can shoot farther. But at first glance, it looks like an over-glorified snow trooper. Yeah. Second question. Why is a range trooper? Because they need to sell toys, so they're like, let's make a new Stormtrooper. Ah, uh, cynical, and yet, probably so true. <laughs> so we see these guys in the trailer on a train, and I feel like their boots could, like, magnetically connect to the train or something. Yeah, it's, they kind of, like, so are they bodyguard Stormtroopers? Are they Stormtroopers? Are they Imperial? Could these guys, like, oh, I just had a great idea. Could these guys be, like, criminal security? Oh, we haven't had that before. And are we just all assuming they're stormtroopers because they're white? Yeah, and they got all his armor on. They're called troopers. And yet, I'm, hmm. Let's roll with it. We have three days before the move. Let's, let's just keep going with that. Yeah, so, okay, so you heard it here first. Range troopers are not stormtroopers. They are private security for whoever Han and friends are stealing or heisting or castle running. I mean, that'd be a fun idea. That would be. It would shake up the galaxy a little bit. You have a few more bad guys who aren't the Empire. Yeah, and it's not like other people can't get, their, get a hold of armor like this. So they can just right. make the armor and then become bodyguards. And this is why I believe now that these range trooper dudes are private security for a criminal group. Tell your friends. Yep, tell your friends. This is, this is the theory. Even after the movie comes out, we're wrong. Still tell your friends. So, should we talk about our dear private security range trooper who's not at all affiliated with the Empire? Absolutely. He looks cold. But he looks warm. I like the fuzzy cloth. It's fuzzy looking. Yeah. Dude, they're uh, they're I... up in their game on the fabric. So, what we're saying is these pieces are great. Yes. We got, we got a bunch of armor. We got various mm-hmm. types of armor. Yep. Uh, front and back. Yeah. I mean, he looks really great from the back, too. Well, ish. He's a little hollow right here in the middle. Yeah, in the on on in the back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's always a challenge. Even like my own mocks. His boots look so hardcore. Yeah, I was worried about that from the pictures. Like, well, obviously they don't touch the ground like his boots do. Those extra armor bits, but right. I, I I think it probably captures the look they're going for. 
It looks very heavy. Yeah, I think I, I got that impression just from the start. Like, the fabric sort of bulks him up. He's got the armor to bulk him up. And, and just from the trailers with him, like, standing securely on the train, like, they, they are in control. I'm f I, I like it when they do troopers as billable figures because troopers, they have the helmets and they look neat. I mean, the scout trooper was awesome. Uh, the guns, the guns, pretty original. They uh, they always try to change that up, but they did a good job this time. Yeah, there's a scope on it, and the fire mechanism is from the top now. Yes, I like that because I was always accidentally firing it by trying to pose it in their hands. So all in all, cool set. Hope the movie's good too. Indeed, we can hope. And we'll find out if these guys are stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah, we will. But if they are unaffiliated private security who are guarding something for whatever. You heard it here first, guys. Absolutely. Great theory. I'm going to call mine George. George. All right. Call mine Mike. There's a buddy movie waiting to happen here. All right. Mike and George, the privately hired stormtroopers. Ex-stormtroopers now. What if the ex-clone troopers? That would be incredibly... Interesting. Have, have we had any clone troopers like go on the run? In Clone Wars, there's that one dude who did, and then in Rebels, Rex and a couple other dudes have gone off the reservation. Cool. It's not unprecedented. That's something the programming didn't quite catch. Yeah. Nice. So, yes, this has been the third episode of Build and Banter. Uh, we built stuff, we bantered, we talked about Solo, a Star Wars story which is coming out soon or has already come out, depending on when I finish editing this movie. You may see a subtitle now letting you know about that. Now, all the opinions expressed in this video are our own. They belong to me and Ben. We don't represent Lego in any way. We just like talking about Star Wars, Lego, and Star Wars, Legos. Basically, our everyday to day conversations. Also, if you ever hang out with us, this is what we're talking about. We are dorks. Anyway, um, I guess we'll see you again next month for our next episode of Build and Banter, in which we build and banter about something else. All right. Maybe. Yeah. Unknown futures. Ooh. Ben, you still there? Yeah, what's up? We forgot to ask the big question. Okay. Based on the last trailer, does Chewie die and is the character in A New Hope a clone? Ah! Well, they wouldn't have shown that clip if he, if he doesn't die, right? I mean, there's a big rock there and a, and a fast train, so clearly something's going to happen. Because obviously he's still he he is alive in a new hope. So oh, so we think. So there's no there's no point in building up that suspense unless something actually does happen. So does Chewie die? Does Chewie lose a head and get a new head? That'd be weird. <laughs>